Hey there guys, welcome back to some more Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. My name is Densbub13 and it is time to finally place all the keys that we collected and just open this door. So yeah, how's everyone's day going so far? It's already December, can you believe it? It's already the end of 2012. Just, uh, this year just went by really fast, I must say, I'll, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be over that quick. And so you know what that means, my finals is pretty much almost over, so I can finally just celebrate and be on my Christmas break pretty soon. So um, yeah, let's go ahead inside this room now, because we got another boss fight. Oh baby, this guy. This guy. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> let's just do this already. Holy crap. <laughs> so, hi, welcome to Quadraxis. The first, well, I shouldn't say the first, but the, the first giant robot that we have ever seen in this game. <laughs> uh, this guy is heavily armed and armored me he's a mechanoid, and he's just crazy and stuff like that. So, the thing about Quadraxis, though, is that uh, the one thing I will hate about it is that there's no areas to, like, you know, hide in like light zones. So this is the only area, the only boss that has no like coverage. There we go. I'm trying to shoot your knee there. Uh, so the way to deal with this guy here is um, when those little things on his kneecaps are light up blue, then I would probably shoot some super missiles at him. So that's one of the things. He has several different forms of this boss fight. Um, this being the first, and I think this would be a real pain in the ass to do. Uh, a dark no dark suit run there has been several attempts I've seen a couple of videos of it happen and it's just crazy like that so um yeah this guy has about like five different scans I think so I really had like this was one of my pet peeves about this game like multiple scans of like boss fights and I couldn't I tried so hard to get all the scans in my practice run I somehow got it there we go take out all your stuff and the good thing that after you blow up his kneecaps, you can get all this stuff back. Um, your health, your missiles, everything. So that's good. So we just gotta keep doing that three more times. While avoiding all of his stuff. He, he has like a crap ton of attacks. Um, this right here, he'll lock on you. Which I think you can just dodge if you just do this. Um, and there's also these little things on the bottom of his feet that you can shoot. Or maybe you can use the boost ball to do that. Just to, like get as much health as possible because uh, that's I think that's the key <laughs> if you're doing a no dark suit run. Uh, really, that's just hard as hell. <laughs> this is probably the hardest thing ever. There we go. Get some stuff back. Get some stuff. Ah, oh, come on, get that. There we go. Probably didn't need it, but whatever. <laughs> All right, where is that thing? Is that gonna light up again? No. Ah, oh, crap! Damage. <laughs> Damage, damage. Wow. So, um, how's everyone's day going so far? It's been really hectic for me the past couple of days here. School has been, well, busy as usual. Oh, this attack. Ah. Yeah, kind of like what those quads do. They will spin into the middle right here. I don't think you can actually boost ball into it. it doesn't seem like you can't. But, uh, I think you just want to boost away from it as possible. See, that's the thing I hate about this guy. This guy will constantly keep moving away from you. So, ah, darn it, missiles. Um, so it gets really annoying to, like, lock onto these things and just, like, you know, shoot their kneecaps when you need to shoot them. Like, right here. See, ah, it's just timing consuming. It's just really, you know, I don't care. I'm just going to shoot this. There we go. All right. Normally what I like to do is just like go around a circle and just like shoot all the kneecaps at once and then like go around the second round and do that. Oh god, he's gonna do this! <laughs> I 
could get some more stuff back, like my health and missiles. There we go. Also, you could probably use power bomb in this too. I forgot to mention that to destroy those little things on his knees. Yeah, just so you can get stuff back. Oh, I should probably dodge this. There we go. Oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Yeah, this boss fight I kind of like. Well, at the same time, uh, it is one of those boss fights that's going to require a lot of time, I would say. Darn it. I wanted to get those knees on the... Right, that's probably going to hit me. That always hits me, and then all of a sudden you get like... You're, you're, you're rendered helpless to shoot if you are shot by that attack. Oh, come on. Just get that darn knee. I want to shoot you in the knee, okay? There we go, right there. Alright, so I gotta get him one more time. Oh, he's just constantly annoying. <laughs> just being super annoying here. There we go, finally got him. Now once he's all done with that, he's gonna move on to his other phases. Which is this. Oh god, I kinda shocked you. I'm sorry Sam, this is a bad person. <laughs> I can't help myself. Okay. He's all drunk and stuff. <laughs> like, go home, Quadrax, since you're drunk. <laughs> Uh-oh! Yeah, kind of like the quads. This stuff's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to scan your head. I'm so sorry, but I just gotta do it. So this is the shield head module after you destroy uh, Quadrax's Foley. And then you also want to uh, scan this as well. This is also part of scan log. This is the damage Quadrax's. So... Now that he's done with that, uh, he should probably get out of the beam here. <laughs> Just so that I don't get uh, hit from that stupid attack. And now you want to pull out your... not that. You want to pull out your Echo Visor. And I think now would be a good time for me to switch over to Light Beams because this works rather good. Now, this you really want to scan because this is the part where I forgot to scan. The Stun Head Module. That's also really important as well. And now that he's helpless, we can go ahead and shoot those little things on his antenna. I should probably do this in Echo Visor. There we go. There we go, got that done. Now he's going to send out some dark quads, it looks like. I think so, I think those are qu dark quads. Yeah. So do I would just ignore them, because I really just don't like to... Uh, just stand and take care of those guys. You really just want to be quick and take care of the, the boss itself. Because I'm pretty sure the quads will disappear at a certain point, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they're just coming towards me. <laughs> they're creeping up on me. How could they possibly do this? Alright, so just get some more light shots in his antenna. And gotta get this last one. Or are you I'm going to get you? Gonna destroy your your stuff. All that stuff is gone. Alrighty. Yeah, as this boss fight goes along, like this part now becomes like really easy in some sorts. Like there's no troubles, I would say. Okay, so after that's done, one last scan should probably be it. Get here, get over here. Yep, finally done it. So this is the final head module. We finally succeeded in scanning everything of this boss fight. So let's go ahead and take care of him now. Looks like he's going to shoot some stuff at me, and I'm just going to stun him for that. So sorry, but that's going to have to happen. So now that these are now accessible, we can spider ball and then wait for him to come across here. Boost up his head, and I almost let go of the head <laughs> as I did that. <laughs> so I'm floating up in some weird glitch there. <laughs> Alright, so let's get him one more time. Seems to me like the light beam is doing really good against him. Uh, I think I want to try to get him over here. Come on, where are you at? Wish I could just like switch the camera around. Oh, he's going from that side? Really? Really? I don't think I'm going to get him on time. Uh, get him, get him, get him! Ah, I shook off. Alright, gotta get him before he does that thing. There we go. I think sometimes one, which way he's facing, he's gonna go that way. Let's see, he's going this way. 
And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get him at that point. So let's move on for this leg. And see if I can get him. Hopefully that should be it. Because that's pretty much the only way to damage this guy. So we've done it! Hey, when did I suddenly get a jetpack in this game? That would be kind of cool. Oops, I kind of killed your robot, buddy. I'm sorry. Ooh, pretty thing. Let's see what we get here. This is... Annihilator Beam. Oh boy, I get to finally start annihilating things, I must say. Oh yeah, showing off my arm cannon once more. Sweetness. So we get the Annihilator Beam at last. Uh, this is the last weapon of this game, so we charge the weapons to fire. Now this thing requires dark and light beam shots, and... I don't know, I kind of don't like the Annihilator Beam at the same time because you can like run out of ammos like really fast. I'll show you like how this works. There's the Annihilator Beam. This shoots pretty fast, I must say, so it's probably going to do some damage. Alright, so that's everything. Let's get the heck out of here because I am glad that's over with. <laughs> Didn't expect this boss fight to be this quick, but oh well. So it looks like we can only go either two ways. Um, let's go this way first, because I know this is the controller room. And screw attack saves the day. Now the thing about the Annihilator Beam, now we can open these blast doors right here. Um, so let's do that. Alrighty then. Alright, so let's get the heck in here. Whoops. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right, because we didn't do this room yet. <laughs> skip this now. Alright, perfect. <clears throat> and so with that, pretty much is all that we did in Sanctuary Fortress. So we just gotta collect our lights, our good old light bulb. That should be it. And... Oh yeah! Get that thing in there, Samus. Get that. Oh, stick it right in there. Good. It just sounds so dirty at the same time, Samus. How could you possibly be doing that stuff, man? This is a ch this is a kid's show. <laughs> this is a child's game. And with that, we received our last energy transfer. Well, at least for now. I could be wrong. There could be another energy transfer out there somewhere. But you just never quite know. You just never know. So with that, pretty much sums up the rest of... God damn it, why do I keep doing that? That pretty much just sums up the rest of Sanctuary Fortress. So, um, getting that stuff done. Um, now there's probably going to be some other things I can get along the way here. Like, for instance finding our way out of here. Um, so I think now we can go over to this side right here. Looks like so, because there's another gray door that we can open up with the Annihilator Beam. Boom! Dunsky. Oh, dear God, what the heck is all this stuff here? Inkstorm. Inkstorm clusters of corrosive darklings. Contact with Dark Swarm not recommended. Capable of corroding steel? Wow. So what happens if I go through this stuff? Oh! Yeah, ah! Yeah, ow! Okay, that hurts. That hurts. Completely. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, Samus. I'm so sorry. That, that didn't hurt, really. That, that was bad. Come on, now. Just imagine with the, just imagine that with the, with the light suit here. So, uh, there's a couple of things now that we have the Annihilator, be annihilator Beam. Ugh. We can scan this thing now, which is a super crystal. Uh, this is super crystals that is pretty much drawn like certain creatures into the field uh, because it has light and dark energy. So that's one of the final scans of the the beacons and stuff like that. I saw some dark troopers here. I'm gonna go ahead and kill them. 
Let's see how effective the Annihilator Beam is with this. Pretty sure this will do some damage here and there. Okay, maybe not that much damage. You know what? I'm going back to... Yeah, I'm going back to getting shocked here. Can't see. Can't see. Ah! There we go. There's our friend. There's our good old buddy. How you doing, buddy? You feel like getting burned? I feel like getting fallen off the stage. Oh, crap. <laughs> I can't see where I'm at. Hopefully I killed him. Is he still there? Oh, doesn't look like it. There we go. Now, so now let's get over here. And there's one more thing I can scan. With the Annihilator Beam. And that's this guy right here. No. No. There we go. Man, I'm starting to like, forget all the controls here. So here we go. Super Beacon. Uh, I think that's all the Luminoth technology. Yeah, we've done everything that we could. So now let's go ahead and finally get out of here. I'm starting to run pretty low on uh, light beams. And that's the one thing I kind of don't like about the Annihilator Beam. Because it shoots rapidly and you will lose ammo like pretty fast. Depending on if you use this weapon the most, if that weapon the most. But um... It will come into some use, I must say. Oh, god damn it. God damn it, space pirates. Nah. So I gotta remember where I gotta go. I think this way right here would be a quick way. So I think that way leads us to the control room. Uh, open the door, open the door. Ah, uh, safe and sound. Oh, it's you guys again. I gotta destroy you with this. That seems to work. Alright, oh. Another one of you? You want some of this? There you go. Have some missiles there, buddy. Those things, like, still follow me, do they? Okay, good. So, with this now, um, we have the Annihilator Beam. These things will be um, kind of important because they can pretty much detect sound. This thing you want to... I don't think this is a scannable item yet, but let's go ahead and scan this. Object scan complete. The Echo Gate uses a sonic security system. Sonic detection gear needed to in interface with this system. Shoot the echo gates with the sonic pulse to learn the combination of its sonic locks. Alright, so with our echo visor and our annihilator beam. Uh, what, sometimes what I like to do is shoot this first. Because you can kind of get a preview of what exactly you need. Let's see, the first one is this. I think this is no. So you want to shoot this twice, I think. Right here. That, and then I think the middle one? No, it's the last one, I think. So I know there's three of this. That, and this one right here, then this one. There we go. And what do we get? A missile expansion. All right, so at this point of the game, it's pretty much gonna be collectibles and all that stuff, because I think we've pretty much done everything uh, to progress the storyline so looks like we got to do is go back to uh, the control room once more get that stuff and then it's pretty much item collecting time everyone's favorite <laughs> uh, so with that let's go through the store for the last time and then from here on out I guess we'll probably do some exploring a little bit in sanctuary fortress to get some of the stuff and then that'll be it Man, I'm so excited. We're getting pretty close to the end of the game. I'm not sure about you guys. But it's pretty great, I must say. Pretty great. Alright, so let's go through this. Man. Poor Luminoths. Just why? Why must they all die? Just why? Okay, get all lightened up here. Because it feels great! And stick my fist in there. One last time, like a good Samus. Oh, yeah. See, this is how we do things right here. Oh, yeah, changing that light bulb. <laughs> And see, what does the sky look like once we do that? See, it's like all cloudy and icky. It's kind of look like it's going to rain, but no. There we go. See, it looks much better now, kind of. All 
Alright, so... What do you think of us now, huh? All three have been done. There you go. Man, oh man, does that look good. I can't wait to go back there, because there is going to be a, a special reward for doing this. A special reward. I'm very excited to get that reward. I don't know about you guys, but this will make the game a lot more fun. I'll tell you that. And there's our hologram. Lunoth. Aw, yeah. Look at us being all pro such. Energy transfer complete. This temple's energy has been restored at last. So that is pretty much it, guys. That is it. That is all she wrote. Dunskis, kaputs, kapow. Ah, oh, I'm finally glad that's over with. <laughs> so, um, with that in mind, I don't know if I want to go back and save. I'm trying to figure out if there's a ne nearby save room at some point. But I bet you there probably is once we go there. Maybe there's some stuff along the way we can get. Who knows? Um, I don't know. This episode's been going on for quite a while. I should probably stop sooner or later. Um, but with that, we can go ahead and screw attack over here. Who needs the stupid, uh, morph ball? You know, we got, we got the screw attack. That's the best thing around town. Oh, jeez, Resbits. Uh, Resbits, hi, buddy. I'm gonna shoot you now. Goodbye. Stop shooting me. I'm gonna shoot you. There you go. Um, there is something in here that we can do really quickly, but, um, I'm probably gonna save that for next time. I'm pretty sure I'll t the whole episode I think I'm going to dedicate to um, item collecting is going to be either this the next episode or something like that. Well, since we're here, um, I guess I would go ahead and save. Because my ammo is looking a little bit low, but I don't know. Probably just going to waste most of my time trying to find out uh, where to get the stuff. Because I'm quite not remembering where all the stuffs are. And I probably have to look back at the guidebook and see or make a list. Um, I know there's a couple things like that missile expansion past that room that we can get. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I think we'll just save that for next time. What about? What do you think, Samus? I think that sounds like a good plan. So I'm going to save up. And next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, we are going to just go around places and collect stuff. That sounds fun, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyways, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you guys later. Peace!